Every January, Las Vegas becomes the world stage for innovation as CES takes over the city. Known as the Consumer Electronics Show, it's been showcasing groundbreaking technology since 1967. More than five decades later, it remains the go-to event for the future of tech. This year, CES runs from January 7th to 10th, with media days beginning on January 5th. Over 100,000 attendees are expected to flock to the Las Vegas Strip to explore the 2.75 million square feet of exhibits, featuring more than 2,000 companies. From tech giants to daring startups, the event promises a glimpse into tomorrow's possibilities. Wearable tech is set to be a highlight this year, with a focus on health-first devices. Expect uh, advanced biometric tracking, wearables that enhance sleep quality, and innovations that integrate seamlessly into smart ecosystems. From sleek smartwatches to futuristic AR glasses, brands are pushing the limits of what these devices can achieve. Fitbit has had a subdued presence in recent years, and fans are eager for a fresh offering at CS 2025. The Lux fitness tracker, now approaching its fourth anniversary, feels overdue for an update. While Fitbit has remained quiet, the history of stylish and functional devices keeps hopes alive. However, the reduced visibility at recent events like IFA 2024, where they were a side note in Google's exhibit, suggests this might not be the year for a major comeback. Garmin, on the other hand, continues to thrive. Leaks point to the potential unveiling of the Instinct 3, the Phoenix 8 Pro, and a rumored micro-LED uh, version of the same. Garmin's strong track record makes these announcements plausible, but they often save headline products for their own events. Still, their CES presence is likely to highlight their ongoing commitment to durability and precision. To remind, last year they introduced the Lily 2 at uh, the gathering, along with a heart rate monitor specifically designed for women. Withings has long been a standout at CES, regularly unveiling innovative health devices. Last year, they introduced BMO, a health monitor that performs a 4-in-1 checkup in under one minute. It works as a thermometer, ECG, oximeter, and stethoscope. The gadget has recently received FEC approval, and we're expecting retail uh, availability this spring. For CES 2025, expectations are high once again. The company has already received FDA clearance and CES recognition for its BPM Pro 2. This is a next-generation blood pressure monitor that combines cellular connectivity with advanced features for remote patient monitoring. While there are no other confirmed details about other potential launches, Withings is likely to deliver new gadgets that differ from what we have seen before. We also expect Zep Health to make a showing. No teasers or statements so far, and no hints as to what could arrive. This is another company that has had a busy year. What's different is that, contrary to previous years, it was more of a focus on software updates rather than new hardware. Recently, they launched ZepOS 4, integrating advanced AI capabilities to improve user experience. Having said that, there have been some new launches, uh, such as the Amazfit T-Rex 3. Prior to that, we saw the Amazfit Helio Ring, which was actually initially teased at CES 2024. Moving quickly on, and we get to Xiaomi. This year, they're expected to showcase their latest innovations, including the Xiaomi AI glasses, developed in partnership with Gore-Tec. These smart glasses are designed to compete with Meta's Ray-Ban uh, smart glasses, featuring AI integration, audio components, and camera systems. Uh, the glasses are anticipated to launch in the second quarter of 2025, potentially aligning with Xiaomi's annual fan festival in April. In addition to the AI glasses, Xiaomi has recently introduced new wearables like the SmartBand 9 Pro and the Watch S4. While specific details about uh, its uh, CES 2025 lineup remain under wraps, Xiaomi's history of delivering innovative and affordable technology suggests that attendees can look forward to exciting announcements. Now let's not forget Samsung. For CES 2025, their focus seemed to be on artificial intelligence, with a press conference titled AI for All, Every Day, Everywhere, scheduled just before the main event kicks off. One product already creating buzz is the Exynos W1000, a new wearable processor designed for smartwatches. It's already won a CS Innovation Award, which points to significant investments in both performance and efficiency. Samsung's wearables like the Galaxy Watch 7 have also picked up awards, hinting at what might be display on display in January. While they haven't shared many specifics about new wearables, their push into AI could mean smarter, more capable devices are on the way. Of course, other wearable brands will be there. 
Last year's smart rings uh, made a big impression, and there's every reason to expect 2025 will continue the trend. Companies like Rincon and Ultra Human uh, are likely to make announcements, whether it's new hardware or significant software updates. Beyond smart rings, other emerging wearable categories could also see new developments. Smart glasses, for instance, are gaining momentum, with several brands expected to real, reveal updates or prototypes. Uh, wearable patches and skin sensors focusing on continuous health tracking are another area to watch. Startups and smaller players are likely to bring fresh ideas to the table, ensuring the wearable tech space remains dynamic and full of surprises.